Hello and welcome to the press conference dedicated to the new edition of the UNESCO Festival. I am Vladimir Yurovsky, the artistic director of the festival. This year marks 140 years since the birth of the great George UNESCO. It also so happens that 2021 marks the 25th edition of the UNESCO Festival, which was founded in 1958. So, 25 is also an anniversary date. We have tried to make this program as special as possible. Of course, presenting it to you now, we have to be aware and we have to make you aware of the fact that since we are still living through the COVID-19 pandemic, the program, as we have envisaged it for the anniversary edition, is not final. Changes will be necessary and I'm sure you will all appreciate that it is impossible in these times to program in advance with exact knowledge how things will turn because every week brings new information, new restrictions. Sometimes restrictions are eased by the governments, but it never happens simultaneously in all of Europe. Every country has different biological conditions, and so we have to be prepared to change. Therefore, view this program which we are presenting to you as a sketch, as some kind of an ideal program which we would like to happen and which we are hoping will be possible by the autumn of this year. George Enescu once remarked, to create means to love because the music is pure love or nothing at all. Another great citizen of this world, William Shakespeare, said in the opening lines of his comedy The Twelfth Night, if music be the food of love, play on. I think both messages are perfect for our difficult times, because music is the fruit of love and food of love. Without love there is no music and music not only serves us as an entertainment, as a nourishment for the soul, it serves as a very important communicator between people. So in these difficult times of the pandemic, the world needs beauty, the world needs music, the world needs culture. That's why the world needs an Esco festival. Not only in Romania, but in the whole world, people are waiting for the new editions of this largest, or definitely one of the largest music, classical music festivals in the entire world. That's why I'm calling upon all parties involved, all the important players in this team, the government, the sponsors, the artists, and also the audience to cooperate in such a way that this festival can take place. We need the support of all the parties involved. We need the engagement of all of them, including the audience. Because if people stay at home out of fear and don't buy tickets, don't come to the concerts, or don't at least um, demand to view the concerts on their home screens, then all efforts will be in vain. I urge you to think of the importance of this festival, particularly in this year, both in the view of its illustrious history, but mainly in the view of the future of the culture 
in this world. Pandemic won't last forever. At one point, we will develop more effective vaccines and the medicine will be able to cure the disease. Once we are in the post-corona world, we will feel ever more the necessity of cultural nourishment for our hearts, minds and souls. Therefore, please do everything possible as we are doing everything necessary and possible on our side to make this festival happen, to make it as colorful and as diverse as we have announced it, even if, as I said in the beginning of my message, the flexibility will be required. There will definitely be some sanitary measures which will have to be observed. I'm sure we won't be able to fill the halls to the brim. It won't be 100% attendance. I don't know how many percent it will be, but it will be less than full, will have to be less than full. Also possible are necessary reductions of the size of orchestras and choruses. But all this is unimportant in the view of the fact that the festival is taking place. So please support us in our wish to make this festival happen, but let's remain flexible, let's remain prepared for changes. All changes are for the better. All changes are made in order to enable the classical music culture to function in these hard times of pandemic and thereafter.